Good morning. My name is Leonardo Costa Prockner, and I'm here to present the work Charged Dense Waves, Superconductivity, and Their Coexistence. The objectives of this work are to study the coexistence regime of both superconductivity and charged dense wave. And to do that, we're going to analyze the charged dense wave presence on the superconductor gap, and the same for the charged dense wave gap. But why? You see? Oh, sorry for the misleading title. Here you have the resistance for temperature for mercury. As you can see, the supercon in the superconductor phase, for lower temperatures, you get zero resistance. That means it will be a perfect conductor. No resistance, no loss of energy. And that phase is characterized by the presence of Cooper pairs, which will be two electrons paired together by some form of interaction, which will happen at really low temperatures. So think about that for a second. You have conductors paired flowing. Then, then we get charged dense wave. You see, what happens with charged dense wave, you have a periodic modulation of the lattice. The conductors will flow through the lattice and they will make some oscillation. It will disturb the lattice. However, there will be order. It won't be a random distortion. It will peri periodically distort the lattice. It will periodically... Sorry. It will oscillate periodic periodically. So, that means it kind of ties together with superconductivity since you have conductors flowing and now you have the lattice responding to that flowing. So, in this work, we use a BCS kind of mod hub model, which will have for both superconductivity and charging to wave. The superconductivity gap will be represent, represented by the delta K, while for charge dense wave we have WK. And CK will be the dispersion relation. So, second quantization, we have creation and destruction operators. I will abstain from explaining the maths, but will be used by doing a combination of Greenfield Green's functions technique and Greenfield. So, now we go to the numerical results. See, here in the numerical results have the density of states, which will be characterized by the, as you can see in black, we have the normal on the perturbed ground state of the system. We have a peak around the energy equals to zero. And the, in the presence, as you can see in the blue line, we have the presence of WK, which will be the charge dense to wave gap. And the red line, we have the presence of both. Since we use P, which will the chemical potential at zero, 0.5, we have the opening of a gap around 0 0.5 and will be further e extended by the presence of both, of both gaps. What that means is you have the creation of new accessible states away from zero, which will take then the presence of the form of two peaks. There will be further enhanced by the presence of both gaps. As you can see, however, if you look at the gap from the superconductor gap, we have the, the presence of WK to be the charge dense to wave gap will unfavor the superconductivity. And if you look at that, it, it would mean that the states are conflicting each other. Trying to look, at, for example, for WK have the same behavior. Both the phases, as you can see in both images, try to suppress each other. So they're in a competition. That would be the behavior expected when you have correlations. However, we don't have correlations on this model. We don't have correlations at all in this work. While we do have a form of interaction hidden 
inside WK and WK4, their expressions, they're not correlated. They're not Colombian style correlations, for example. So then one of the next steps of the of this work is try putting correlations because that is an expected behavior of the presence of correlations. However, this work is absent of it. So for the conclusions, there is an open of a gap around W minus 0.5 caused by the effects of both phases. Both phases are suppressed by each other that induces to a to a competition and that happens in the absence of correlations. So putting correlations on that might solve the problem or intensify and that for the near future. And that's it. Thank you. Short presentation today. Not much to work. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we have temos tempo para perguntas. 